So oh GEs are the most problematic? I think they are, yeah. And they're okay. the most expensive to buy parts for once they break down. Okay. But I see these new units leaving people high and dry all the time. The DI washing machines, they break down, they don't wash properly, or they, their pumps are bad, or their doors are warped so they don't hit the switches and make them operate. Uh -huh. There's also a number of things that don't have part numbers with GEs. So if oh, you my. have, what I see is I do warranty work for some of the big name uh, companies out here. Mm -hmm. And there'll be like a semi load of hot point or GE washing machines or dryers that are brought in and somebody with a forklift damaged uh, one of those units externally, you know, mm -hmm. a, an aesthetics problem. It might be still working, but there isn't a part number for the cabinet and it's totaled right there on the spot because oh, they can't replace the damaged part and they don't want to sell it damaged. 